Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Oh, forgot to turn off my shadow puppet light. Let me move that. Now we're better. Okay. Let me scoot up here. Let me get all situated. So, hi. Hope everyone's doing well. I can't sleep tonight. I um, worked all day today and we had our first football game and of course the band. I'm band mom now. And uh, they had pictures, so I got off work early, ran a couple of quick errands, came home, got the ice chest, went to school, helped get everybody ready, well, sort of, and had to load up the ice chest full of ice and water and down and back and in the heat and, oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all know, y'all know it's, it's warm out there. Anyway, I got home, uh, we ran and got something to eat and, um. AJ got her shower, went to bed. Anyway, they did fantastic. Um, but I just can't sleep. And it's, I don't have my watch on. I think it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30. I don't know. Anyway, so I got a few things in from craft days. And I started to open them. And I thought, why not just make a video? I'm awake. So I hope I'm not whispering. Cause I'm in here with my door shut. <gasps> Luigi's over there. Oh, he's passed out. He was over there just kneading his bed, you know. So, uh, anyway, so I thought, well, i just turn on my camera and share it with you guys. So, here we go. All right. Like I said, I just started, and um, we'll just get to it. So, of course, this is Anna. She wraps these things very nicely for me. And uh, this is Halloween Vellum Card Toppers. Ooh. Let's take a little look at this. Maybe. I know, you're thinking, Rhonda, you're a professional opener, and you don't know how to get into this. There we go. <clears throat> We're supposed to be getting some relief. This is Friday night, well, Saturday morning, however you want to look at it. Um, I think Sunday. Sunday, my goodness, next week. We're supposed to get, I think, high in the 80s, low in the 50s, 60s. That will be a welcome sight. Ooh, what is this? Let me uh, cut this. Do, do, do. So these are, I said card toppers. So we have pumpkins. Okay, there's leaves, really pretty leaves. Oh, now we're talking. Looky there. That would be good for um, the medical journal uh, without the um, spider webs, but <laughs> looks like you get about three of each one. Oh, look at that. That's elegant. How can a creepy looking bat be elegant? Anna knows how to do it. That's all I got to say. Oh my goodness. These are beautiful. A little botanical thing happening there. That's super cool. And spiders look away, look away. So what's the vellum part? So these are, I'll just say 70. Uh, 78 card embellishments, 24 card layers, 24 vellum layers, and 24 sentiments. So these are obviously, obviously going to be 5 by 7 cards. So those are big. Um, then we have these little toppers here. All of these little doodads. Let's just look at these. I mean, I'm wide awake. <laughs> Let's just look at all this. So there's those beautiful spider webs. Oh, lots of pretty. The leaves, like pumpkin leaves maybe. And there's our little skeleton man friend. Ooh, look at those. I'm kind of glaring there on my camera. Hope I'm in there so you can see. Black and white flowers, look at these. An owl, very pretty. Roses, oh look at this. These are phenomenal. Oh, those leaves. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Uh, I hope these aren't sold out because I may have to. Uh, I mean, these won't be just for Halloween. Uh, these are for fall. These are for just gorgeousio. Oh, look at that. These are really, really pretty. All right. Of course, we can't get them back in there like they were. I'll spend all my time doing this. Be very gentle. 
We don't want to bend our little friends here. Oh my goodness. All right, then we have toppers. Have a happy Halloween. And oh, look at all those. Oh, these are beauties. All right. So I guess they're calling this as the vellum. So I'm like, this other is not vellum. But those are gorgeous. All right. What do we have here? Miss Anna, we have some spooky slimline matte foil cards. So there's purple, black, gold, green. They're just gorgeous. They're ready to use right there. Lock myself in now with my boxes. All right, get this out of the way. And who do we have here? Anna Griffin, dark matte foil cardstock. Oh, this is an auto ship. So, do you guys like to make Halloween cards? Do you send those Halloween cards or Halloween projects? I know a lot of us love the Halloween. I mean, is it the colors? Is it the I don't know. It's like we don't send the cards and things like we do birthdays or Easter or anything like that. Anyway, but it's very popular. Ooh, look at that. This is Luxury Matte Full Cardstock Dark. Oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, that's a like a peridot. Gorgeous. Okay, let's just take a quick look here. I'm sure I'm going to pay for this. Not getting any sleep. But that's all right. I'm just not sleepy. Oh my goodness. So the peridot. Look at that blue, red, brown. Oh, look, I love that brown and that hot pink together. And black. Wow. Those are gorgeous. Man. What a color palette. So you have the swim line and then like a. Maybe a five by seven or no bigger. Um, let's see. Centimeters. Oh, yeah, 36. Okay, I was going, that's not 36 inches. 36, six by eight, and 36, four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's what that is. Wow. My mind, let me turn that over so we don't blind you there. All right. Diamond press, yes. What? Okay, let's talk subject big releases lawn fawn just came out with a release and it's fall halloween christmas just got it i'm gonna have to put it out tomorrow but oh my gosh it's huge and i'm thinking for the people i mean i think lawn fawn is great don't get me wrong there it's just not my cup of tea but for those that collect it and that use it i mean like you know you like to get the whole set but I, the whole set for this, there's no telling how many hundreds of dollars it is. I mean, like, I, I couldn't even imagine. It's probably eight or nine hundred dollars for if you got everything out of this set, maybe even more. Why do these companies make such huge releases? Why don't they break it up? I mean, if you have a fall, you know, put out the fall stuff, Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff. What? Same thing. Diamond Press is starting to do that. Their releases are huge and. I'm a Diamond Press fan. You guys know that. I'm just, and they're getting a lot of free advertisements since they didn't pick me to be on their uh, design team. I just guess I'm not their flavor. But, um, I mean, why pick me when I'm going to use their stuff anyway, I guess, right? And I'm paying for it. <laughs> but um, I, I just don't know why. And I, um, 49 in Market, love Kate Petit, fantastic designer, fantastic lady. But there's so much to these releases. I mean, there's so many pieces. And I'm one of those. I've got the complete set syndrome. Got to have the whole thing. So, I don't know. Do these people make the, that are making the decisions, are they crafters, I wonder? I don't think so. All right, so we have Happy Boo Day. This is, oh, we have texture stuff going on here. Texture paste and watercolor. It looks like we have stamps. Let's just see here. So we have texture paste black, texture paste white. Okay. Then we have some stamps here. So which has got to stick together. Happy Halloween. Happy Boo Day. Um, I'm batty for you. Have a beautiful day. 
<laughs> I have a uh, have a spooky good time, and you are wickedly wonderful. Very cute. I have to hinge my stamps and um, stencils here. And you know, we're gonna look at everything. If I have to make this a two part, we're just gonna make it a two part. So we have a itsy bitsy little spider. Ooh, hope that didn't get messed up there. Now oh, there we go. So um, beautiful floral. I mean, like so I'm thinking junk journal. We have some little pumpkin faces, another little swooshies. Oh, a house. We got something going on there. Beautiful spider web. We have witchy poo. Ooh, love the bats. Um, pumpkins, which those faces will go on there. The house, which the house pieces. And then we have, there is a skull, flowery, flower, a skull made out of flowers. <laughs> Very cool stencils. All right, let's get these together. Get those in there. And, da, 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 da. we have, okay, so it has a little, a little thumb hold. So you can hold it and do your thing. Are we ready? Are we ready, ready, ready? <gasps> Isn't that cute? Look at the colors. <gasps> so these are metallics up here. And these are regular. I guess what you call it. So we have a little sponge. We have a little uh, paintbrush. Love that. So you can fill it full of water. Here's a mixing tray up here. Now let's see. Does this... Yeah, this, this thing comes out. But look at that. There you go, Diamond Press. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. Oh, forgot. We got a spatula. Got a little spatula stuff going on there. All right. All right. I went ahead and opened some of these. I haven't looked. So this is Vintage Holiday Kit Diamond Press. So there's a sled, a wreath of some sort, bell. Other things. All right, let's look here. Beautiful stamps. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna use this. Oh yeah, so that's a nice, nice sled there. So we have oh, a pair of skates. Um, beautiful snowflake bell. Joyful. So we have the pine cones and leaves, and that's. Warm and cozy. And looks like we have a piece here. That and that match. Hmm, let's see what the what is on that. Um, peaceful. Hope for A. And then here's cheers to A. Um, New Year, Christmas. Greetings for A. Winter season, wishing you A. And then there's a beautiful wreath. And little mittens. Merry season. All right, let's take a little look at this so we can see a little better what we have going on here. So we have a wreath, the die, we have the sled, your skates. Oh, there's a bow in there, bell, snowflakes. Really nice. So, the, oh, this is pretty. Greetings for a Merry Christmas. Hope for a peaceful winter season. Hope for a joyful new year. Cheers to a Merry season. Wishing you a warm and cozy Christmas. Greetings for a peaceful year. So you just mix and match these. And a couple of inspirations there. Very nice. Lucky, lucky. All right, let's just put these in there. I don't want to go back in. This is a little note. These sold out really quick. And I'm glad I got these because I'm a band mom. And I make thank you notes, which I have to do this weekend. So I was wanting this. I thought this would be really cool. Come on. So I have lots of dies. Stamps. Piano. Two hearts and perfect harmony. A French horn, guitar, little shwilly doos. Oh, that's a music note. <laughs> More music notes. Um, life would be flat without you. Happy birthday. And then, oh, there's your um, bars for your notes. What do we have here? There's a um, saxophone, trumpet. Oh, love that. Music notes. Um, make your own music. Your friendship is music to my soul, for my soul. Thanks for being 
<laughs> a noteworthy teacher. That's really cute. Okay, that's, I'm, I'm digging that. And then we have the stamps and the dice for the notes, for the musical instruments, the, the piano, piano. I just, I love that. That's really pretty. Sentiments and then some card ideas. These aren't the greatest examples, but it does kind of get you thinking. All right, very nice. Looks like I may have to order some more envelopes. You know, put all these in. I was doing that the other night because I wasn't really in the mood to craft, but I needed to get something done, be creative. Once I just get something done. And um, so I put them all in their envelopes in the uh, Diamond Crest envelopes and then printed off the labels and put those in there, got them all organized. And I think I have found a way to store them. Yes, I do love their boxes that they have, but out of sight, out of mind for me. Just saying. So they all come with a cutting folder for the marquee. Um, these will work with any of your machines. If you don't have a marquee, you should think about it. They're really nice. All right, so we have pie making stuff, slices of pie, sending a slice of thanks. Um, may your day be filled with love. A little pie things, wishing you a slice of happiness. That's cute. Oh, love that little apple. More pie pieces, pumpkin. Uh, you're a cutie pie. <laughs> pie love you. Uh, you're the apple of my pie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta love a good pun. So here's the pieces to make your pie. Oh, pff. pieces of pie, more pieces. There's like a tablecloth, a little zigzag. We got a little, one of those things, cherries. And then there's a couple of examples. Hey, pumpkin, sending you a slice of thanks. <laughs> That's funny. So being a baker, I had to get those. Well, okay, it's diamond press, I had to get them. in there. All right, this is Alphabet Jolly Holiday. Gotta love a good alphabet. That's gonna be great for cards, great for scrapbooking. Just love that. Let's see if there's a, um, so you can see the font a little better. They may not have a, uh, oh, no, have to go with that. Anyway, you can kind of see the little embossing it's gonna do. Anyway, that's that's a great set. And they will fit in the original marquee if you have one of those. All right, this one is No Bones About It. That's right. So this cutting folder over there. And these cutting folders last forever. I mean, you can just cut, cut, cut. Gonna need some assistance here. Anyway, you can cut on all sides, you know, flip it. Cut on this side, that side. Just keep cutting until they crack. Okay, did I say no bones about it? Oh my goodness. Open says me. All right, lots of cute little dicey, lots of bony parts. Oh my goodness. Happy haunting, happy birthday to my favorite bag of bones. Break a leg. Oh my gosh. There's a little skeleton cat, a little tombstone. We have limbs there. More bones, little. Oh, those are cute. Another little tombstone, more legs. That's super cute. And we have a doggy skeleton on oh, top hat. Oh, rib cage. No bones about it. You're spooktacular. A shake, rattle, and roll. Oh, shut the front door. That's funny. Pumpkin, bow tie. Oh my gosh. This is going to be just too fun. That's all I got to say. You're my favorite bag of bones. Oh my word. Okay, this one is uh, Woodland. I'll do that. I'm going to do that one of these days, and that's going to go popping off, and I'll tell where it's going to land. Well, you can tell. <laughs> that looks awful. I play with Luigi <laughs> all the time. I have to tell you a quickie. So, you know, cats love to play. Well, anyway, I'll be laying across my bed and I'll take my hand, you know, up like this and I start doing this and he'll be sitting over here at the side and he coxes it. I've got to videotape it somehow. 
going to have AJ or Keith do it for me. But he'll kind of cock his head a little bit. He kind of leans into it. And then he just hops like a bunny. All four legs just at once. And then just grabs my arm. And every time he does that, I crack up. I'm like, Keith, Keith, come watch this. So I do that because it just, it's so funny. And then I end up like this. Oh, my word. These animals. They're just family. They are fur babies, so lots of dyes. Oh, look at that tree. There's a trunk of a tree. That's good size. Cutting folder. Let me grab this. So we have, oh, there's a wolf. Fox. Maybe a fox. We'll see. Tree, really pretty tree. So a little bird of mushrooms from two. Uh, looks like we have a little mouse, maybe a little body. Who? Oh, little, little paws. We have some sentiments. There's a little squirrel, um, a raccoon. I kind of like that, how they have it in two pieces. So you could use those little head peeking out around a corner or something, not use the body. There's an owl, the two pieces. Hello, greetings, neighbor, me from all of us, thinking of you, and then little shh like that. There must be a die that these go into. Some kind of slanted thing. Well, let's take a look at this. Get this out of the way. See where those little slanted sentiments go. All right, so there's our tree. Oh, see, you use their little heads for peeking out. That's what that is. You have all the dies to cut them out. Little mouse. Very cute. So, oh, I guess they're just, um, okay, there's no dice for them. They're just a little whoosh. So that's cool. Just wanted to say hello to who? To you. That's cute. And the fox. Somebody wants to say greetings, neighbor. <laughs> that's super cute. Oh my goodness. Well, band is starting to ramp up September. Um, I think it's the second week in September, second or third week of September is when we really start. And then it'll be every weekend through the end of October for uh, competitions and different things. And then um, I don't think there's much in November and then December we have some parades. So it's gonna be a whirlwind. So this is not one to come out. This is backgrounds, Halloween and fall. So that's that's a mini slimline right there. There's a creepy Halloween. There's a little witchy poo. Two witchy poos? Well, what's up with that? Is it some sort of layering thing? Let's uh, get some instructions here. Because those are, they look identical. Great sentiments here. Nice size, I like that. Fun fonts. Trick or treat, taboo. That's why I say my kitty all the time. Hey, boo. Hey, boo, boo. Happy haunting. You have, you are full of magic. Happy Halloween. Eat, drink, and be scary. Spooky Halloween. Those are really nice. Okay. Let's see what we got going here. So we're supposed to have that one, this one, and that one. Did they boo up? Oh. <gasps> I think they messed up. That's funny. They messed up. I got two of the same one. I've got two of these, and I didn't get the uh, spider web. And then I got that one. Oh, my. I wonder if that was just lucky me or if they had a little issue there. I'm going to have to send Miss Judy a letter and say, hey, what happened here? That's interesting. All right, let's see how I am on time here, because I have, I don't have a few things. I don't know. We'll just keep going. Very interesting. Okay, this one is Backgrounds Holiday. So there's three different ones here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, I'm looking to see where to open it. Oh, there we go. So this has... Oh, looks like we can make a... Um, um, snow globe, can we? Or is it deceiving? Okay. Oh, okay, you can. So there's the little bits for the snow globe. Little snowman in there. 
and then Sentiments, there's Merry and Bright, um, Dream of Christmas Joy, and Warm Winter Nights. So there's Santa taking off. Oh, that's really interesting. That's cool. I like I love this font. Dreaming of uh, Christmas Joy. That, that's very um, elegant. I like that. All right. This one is oh, another diamond press. Looks like a big one. This is Halloween Greetings and Invite. Do, do, do. Oh, I have to show you some. Um, I've been working on some Spellbinders um, cards that turned out really cute. Um, I didn't videotape them. I just um, started making them. So I'll have to. I took them to show Shirley at work, and then she's like, oh, are these my samples? And off she went. And so then I made two more different ones and um, haven't let her see those yet. Oh, this is the one where um, you open the card and this ghost or the bat pops out. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. This is a big one. Come on, now's not the time to get... Really? Ugh. All right, let's try this again. All right, so we have these good size dies there. And then look at this stamp set. <gasps> wow. Let's see if I have a... There we go, just a piece of paper. So there, so there's the bat wings and um, the um, ghost. Wicked good time, eat, drink, and be scary. Date, time, place, details, RSVP. Halloween party. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. And then trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Uh, Halloween greetings. Let's hang out. Oh, that's funny. Booyah. Eek. R.I.P. Uh, you're invited. I smell my feet. Oh my goodness. Halloween. But look at those. Oh, that's really a cute set. And then let's look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at those. So when you open the card, he pops up and out. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is super cute. Shirley wanted this, my boss, she wanted this one too. So I had to order two of these. All right, so let's start down here. Um, diamond press. Oops. What is this one? Um, Haunted House Kit. Oh, this is, um, I think this is an auto ship. Yeah, I think, believe this is an auto ship. Yeah, it's the pop-up. We made just the regular house um, oh, a couple videos ago. And so here's your rubber band and then your template because it makes a good size. Uh, it won't run through the marquee. So and then there's some little rubber bands and there's our plate. What do I do with my sheet of paper here? So there's our little house. There's windows, little octagon shaped or something. Um, little tombstones and cute ghosts. So probably for the um, house, that looks like a railing there. And then, do I have, oh, I have it backwards. Um, there's some wood pieces. Trick or treat, just saying boo, happy Halloween, happy haunting. Uh, from your patch to ours the little pumpkins all right let's see what this says yeah there's quite a few instructions and of course diamond press does it really well oh look at that oh my goodness the hardest part really about these is just trying to figure out what you're going to do oh my goodness and these really are not i mean it's three pages long i know but it's really not not that hard not that difficult okay so this is the inspo that they give you here. Oh, those are too cute. Put that over there. All the pieces, don't want to lose those. Um, oh, it's in that box. Oh, there we go. Here's another box. This is a Shaker Hocus Pocus. Oh my goodness. I was excited about this one too. 
what am I not excited about when it comes to Diamond Press, really? Oh, look at the shaker bits. Don't stay behind there. Oh, look at these. Oh my goodness. Those are so cute. All right, so we, it looks like we have some foam pieces. We have some acetate. We have, this is um, a cutting for the acetate, so you can make sure you get it really nice, clean cut. So then you have your potion bottles. Looks like a little um, snowman-based hat. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that'll be fun. Spiderweb in the corner. Happy Halloween. Oh, he's a good pumpkin head. Oh, that's, that's the pumpkin head dye there. Okay. Um, you got it. Haunt it. Brew up some fun. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Loved little swirlies. Best witches. Oh, just a bunch of hocus pocus. All right, let's look at this quickly. Okay, so this is shaker kit. So, it, excuse me, shows you how to cut that out with the acetate pieces and then have your goodies inside. Put a spell on you. Excuse me. And then... Oh, so we have little banners, little squares to cut out. There's all the little different pieces. Oh, another fun one. All right, don't fall. Just have a few more here. I'll kind of hurry up a little bit. This one is Treat Bag Spooky Sweets. Oh. oh those are nice size bags. Only my special friends will get these. Noise alert. All right. We have cool twine. Oh, look at the little pieces. So little card toppers, uh, bats, ghosts, um, pumpkin heads. Oh my goodness. And we have bling bling. Love bling. And a dice, I mean a uh, stamp set. So thank you for all you boo. Oh, trick or treat, that's big. Spooky sweets, uh, your spooktacular graveyard goodies. Open if you dare, two from, oh I love that, happy Halloween. And then bags, like I said, those are good size. Spooky treat, sweet treats bag. So, oh, here's a little different pieces you get in this. Oh, some of them look holographic. 88 die cuts. Uh, 40 7 by 5 inch bags. 20 orange and 20 black. 30 yards of baker's twine. 5 yards of each color. 40 rhinestones. 9 stamps. And there's some big ideas. And a partridge in a pear tree. Oh. Alright, let's take this over here. Okay, this is... Ooh. Okay, this is from... What is this? Oh, that's my invoice. Let's take this over here. All right. It's funny how some of these have little prices on them. I wonder where they come from. So this is Studio Light. Love these. Uh, this is called Inner Peace Slimline Bird Collage. Oh, there's a good picture. I just thought that was fantastic. That's going to be really fun to color. Um, this is the Grunge Collection Studio Light Snowdrops. Oh, look at that. Yes, please. Another one from the Gr Grunge Collection. This is Colorful Fruits. Oh, look at that. Very nice. And then Clear Stamps Grunge Collection. This is... What's it called? Oh, over here. Um, inspire and Create, I guess. So, lots of fun. There's splatters. Um tape measure, just little doodads, little scribbles. Oh, I love that. Mm -mm -mm. And then I just thought these were fun. <laughs> um, they look pretty big though. So Essentials by Marlene. I love Marlene. So you get two of 12 designs, two each of 12 designs. The frames fit perfectly in the perfect size journal. Okay. So, oh, so these are perforated. So then you just poke them out. So this will come out and then this will come out. <laughs> Oh, fun. Those would be fun in scrapbooks. Oh, my goodness. Very fun. 
All right, let's get these to the side. All right, just a couple more here. Hang with me. We're almost there. Oh my gosh. This is Anna Griffin Coffin Box Card Die Set. Look at that. You will definitely need a bigger machine. Well, let me see. I say that. Seven and a half. Yep. Because like a regular Big Shot is six inches wide. So you're going to need a big machine for this. But look at that. Oh, we got to look at the samples. Because he looks very elegant. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my word. And then instructions on how to make it. Oh, look at that. So does it come with the bat? Yep, there's the bat. And then there's the candle. And then, oh, and then those pieces that I got, those beautiful, um, I forget what it's called. But anyway, those are those flowers and bats. And that's just inlaid. Oh, and then that's that paper. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Um, the, mm, yes. <laughs> that's exciting. I'm supposed to be winding down and going to sleep. Okay, this is Cornucopia by Miss Anna. Oh, another big one. Look at that. So this is the easel set. Let's look at this. Oh, I'll turn it right side up. Oh, look at all that you can do to it. Like I said, these are all going to set up instructions. Oh my goodness. That's going to be gorgeous let's see here maybe the widest part is about a little shy of five inches let's see oh that shows about five shy of five and a half there yeah that's not five inches so yeah maybe five and a half inches oh look at the corn the pumpkin and the oh ooh, love that oh my gosh that's gonna be so much fun that's gonna make a very impressive card okay this is our last one. All right, this is, this is yeah, this is an auto ship. This is the temp template library from uh, Crafter's Companion. Um, it came with a little box. Have nice little corner protectors there. But um, at the beginning, it came with a box that you kind of put together. And then these just fit in there. So big templates. Um, take a look at this. So that's a welcome to the template library where you'll find templates galore with step-by-step -step instructions to create projects aplenty. Don't forget, we also have video guides to demonstrate how to use the templates. All right. So this is the book. Oh, look at that. So roll up gift box, recessed folded card, double pocket fold card, folded card, window or door shaped card. Oh, that's cool. Flag fold card. Diagonal double gatefold card, gatefold card, and then see there's instructions there. Oh, I like that. And then these are your templates. So we'll just go ahead since we're opening everything. So if you don't know what these are about, template library yellow. So it's the different colors. Oops, double swing, so it gives you your index there. So these are your templates. So what you do is you trace these and then cut them out and um, score whatever it has the instructions. But yeah, so that may be a little turn some people off. Here's flat fold box card. So yeah, you lay this on your paper and like I said, it tells you where to score. It tells you where to trace. Um, bench fold card. So anyway, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, but you know, it's, it's different. It's different. So, and they're color coded, the yellow, pink, blue, whatever. And like I said, these sit nicely in the box. And then these two go together because it gives you the actual pictures of what you're going to create and then instructions. So anyway, I think that's it. I don't see anything else. I think that's plenty for now. All right, so I think I'm going to go lay down for an hour or two and then get up and get ready and go to work. So um, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And until next time, bye for now.